What's up guys? Coming at you in another video today on this Sunday. Um, today I just wanted to talk about, oh man, um, hitting the reset button with anxiety and literally hitting the reset button. And I found literally like throughout the day when I've gone through negative thoughts or I'm thinking about how I feel or I feel like I'm distant from what's going on, I'll literally tell myself reset. And it's kind of crazy like how effective it can be. I'll literally just say reset. Um, and it'll kind of reset my thoughts and you know, it's helped me sometimes. Um, I've dealt with being sick this week and being sick is tough when you're anxious um, because you do feel all the symptoms but they're more intense. Like I've had a pretty intense headache all week. Um, and you, it's like you associate when you're sick. You know, I haven't felt that bad. I've just been like a regular cold and I'm getting over it now. Um, you just kind of, you know, think it's something worse. I mean, you think you have, you know, strep or, you know, meningitis or something like that. I mean, it's just a common cold. Um, and I find, found out like when I was feeling terrible, like through the worst parts of the cold, you know, I'd find that saying reset really helped me kind of activate my mind, um, especially through this Thanksgiving weekend, you know, I've been, I, I've been struggling a little bit just because, you know, that sickness kind of like made me think, you know, my mind to drift. Everyone knows your mind just starts to drift, but I can, I can't tell you how, how effective it's been to just say reset. Um, or anything like a, some some word that maybe directs your thoughts elsewhere um, has been really really helpful for me um, and it basically kind of resets how you think it resets you know you, you distract your mind into something else um, one thing that I found that's been really helpful for me is I've been reading a little bit more I've been reading books um, reading actually is is it doesn't really it calms your mind down automatically. It's kind of a form of um, <clears throat> meditation, relaxation, but it, it, is, it doesn't activate your mind as watching a movie or Netflix does. It's kind of like a sedative, but a positive sedative for your brain. Um, and I'd read 15 minutes before bed. It, it makes it a lot easier for me to go to sleep. Um, and that's really been helping me lately. And just getting my mind off things, you know, it's, it's really been pressing my mind like something's been wrong. And I've, I've literally, throughout the day, I could tell you, you know, I thought about it for most of the day yesterday and I had a headache for most of the day. But as soon as I was able, this is how you know it's anxiety. As soon as I was able to, you know, kind of grasp and be like, all right, I'm, I'm sick of this. Reset. And start thinking about other things and really motivate my mind on what I want to do, what I want to succeed in um, later down in life and for that day, for that matter. Um, you know, I was able to reset my thoughts instead of, you know, backtracking more. And I tell you what, I felt better throughout, throughout the day. Like, I literally felt better by the end of the day. And... Typically, if it's something bad, if something's going wrong with you, you know, if it was really something more than anxiety, it would just be constant. You know, you couldn't recover from it throughout the day. You'd have to take, and I'm not taking any form of medication. You'd have to take medication. There. I don't. I think I took like one ibuprofen on Saturday. That was it. Uh, so yesterday, uh, you know, as far as the headache, the pain just kind of went away because. You know, it wasn't the medication, I could tell you that. It stayed around the same for a bit. And then when I finally got my mind off of it, you know, just hit the reset button. Reset. Think about something else. Just literally try to deflect, direct your mind to something else. Because when your conscious mind all of a sudden clashes with your subconscious, because your subconscious is constantly thinking, oh, yep, yep, I feel shitty, oh, Oh, I'm sick. I have something wrong with me. Oh, I have something wrong with me. No, you don't. No, you don't. Your conscious mind finally collides and says, nope, uh-uh, we ain't going there. Um, I can't tell you, like, if you can just kind of stop and be like, okay, um, assess where you are and be like, all right, this is what we're going to do going forward. You're going to set goals and stuff like that. Like, you have, it is, it, it comes and goes. Like, it is just a constant battle, but... You know, when you get a grasp of it and you really get on top of it, I mean, it's, it's amazing how much better I felt throughout yesterday, last night, this morning, throughout the morning and stuff like that. So 
really trying to reset um, and focus on, you know, the bigger and better things. So that's it for today. Um, one thing I guys want to talk about, I've linked my Patreon in the bottom of the description and I have reached 10,000 views. However, YouTube um, has not, an, I'm trying to get my ads enabled and I'm not going to be a person that's gonna put 15 ads on a video. Typically it's gonna be the beginning and end, but I thought I'd, I'd, I'd notify you guys instead of kind of just like, cause I know people don't like looking at ads, I know. But you know, the biggest goal through this, through Patreon and um, getting ads and I'm not trying to make money, I'm trying to make money to produce quality, more quality videos and yes, same old, same old. Everyone says that, but I, I record with my iPhone, you know, I don't have a computer that has that much editing. I'm trying to save up for a Mac. Um, and honestly, like this has been awesome. I have over almost 11,000 views. The last video I said 9,000. I mean, it's going, going big. I almost have, I'm, we're almost at a hundred subscribers. So like, this is the real deal. This is really what, and a hobby of mine that's turned into something that could potentially be awesome for me and I really enjoy what I'm doing and the views and the support is showing it um, and by no means am I trying and with patreon too like you know I'm trying to set up maybe a possibility of not, not merchandise I mean merchandise is I'm not trying to sell merch stuff but like sell products like I'm willing to start selling like the quality fish oils that I buy to hopefully make your anxiety a little bit better because like I can't sell you anything that'll make it better mentally. You have to do that yourself. But if I can sell you some things that could help you a little bit more physically, I'd love to do that. So I don't know if, if it's gonna get enabled here pretty soon. Um, I've talked to Google, talked to AdSense and stuff, and hopefully, you know, it falls falls forward and start going on with. But I can't can't tell you I appreciate the feedback enough. Um, I'm not looking for much as far as any sort of donations either. Like, I'm not asking even to do it. I just throw it up there um, to support, to build, you know, my quality of videos. And that's it. It's all going towards the channel. Um, I, I tell you what, I make enough money as it is. I don't need extra money at all. I just want to produce better videos and... Um, no, I really appreciate all the feedback and everything like that. So I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I appreciate all the support. Almost at 100 subscribers. And I'm just making videos in my apartment. I mean, it's been incredible. So have a great weekend. Rest of your weekend, guys. Peace.